Well now, this is a fun little piece. I'm going to show you how to find a normal vector, but not the book's way, um, a cheaper, easier way. Well, at least a fun one. I know what it feels like, and this is what it feels like. We have two vectors in here. We have vector v and we have vector dub. What do I want to do? I want to find the normal vector by taking the cross product with your usual basis vectors i, j, and k. So I put these behind you. If we're doing v cross dub, yeah, that works. Okay, um, that means V needs to be on top of dub. And here's what it looks like. It looks like this. When I'm doing my cross products, I'm expanding the minors, but I can just look at the minors because that's going to be each one of those components. And here we go. It's all whoosh, whoosh, ah, whoosh, whoosh, ah, whoosh, whoosh. And then there your normal vector. Okay, how about we see an example with actual numbers? We have two more vectors. We have V and dub this time. V's weighing in at one, two, three, and dub's weighing in at six, five, four. So we're gonna line them up. We're gonna stack them on top of each other. And here we go. It's all, it's all, it's all eight minus 15. And then it's all 18 minus 4, and then it's a 5 minus 12. So then we can put that together, and we have the vector minus 7, 14, and minus 7. That was fun. Entertainment piece. And the normal vectors orthogonal to those two vectors. So you got a vector here, you got a vector there, and then normal.